When you get tired of a man hitting on you, honey, ain't nothing you can do but cook breakfast for him. Cook breakfast. Bring him into the kitchen and get you a big old pot of hot grits. And when it start to boil like lava after he done got good and comfortable, you say, good morning, T. Throw it right on him. Get you a pot like this. Take it in. Throw it. You need your skillet with a nice, good, balanced weight on it. You understand? And as you throw it, you swap. Throw it and swap. You hear me? Throw it and swap. <laughs> Venus and Serena. That's called grit ball. Welcome back to An African Perspective. Anytime somebody say they got what they deserve, that's all they ever gonna have. I guess so. So is a man thinking, so is he. Yeah. Sitting over there trying to buy love. Honey, if you could afford love, Jesus wouldn't have had to go to Calvary. You right. But people do it all day long. If I got to wonder why you in my house, I don't want you there. Yeah. If I lose my job, is you gonna be there? If I get sick, you gonna be there? Hell no. Uh-uh. Go. Step. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, she's stupid. That's what's wrong with her. Did you see? He didn't even want to kiss her. Did, I could Ain't never... it funny how people can see everybody else's situation just as clear? Yeah, yeah. But can never, ever turn a mirror on this <clears> and... <throat> Honey, you sitting here talking about her and you just sat here and told me your man hit on you. Uh, li- listen to me. Abuse is abuse. That's right. And it don't never change till you change it. Mm-hmm. Hear me with your heart, not just your ears. Whether you're trying to buy love or whether you're letting somebody put their hand on you, yes. that's abuse, honey. Because you will leave that man, go find another one, and that one will hit you too. Because mm-hmm. it's something in you that's attracted to them kind of men. Yes. That's crazy. I don't understand that. That's right. You're going to let somebody put their hand on I don't understand that. Explain that to me, honey. Life is short. You can be dead and gone tomorrow. Yes, yes. I, I, the Bible's saying, I'm going to try to get this right. The Bible says when you're born on this earth, you get a few days, and them days is full of trouble. Yep. If the days you get is full of trouble, why the hell you go add more trouble on top of the trouble you already promised? You got a point. I don't understand. Explain that to me. Well, I- I'm trying to get out of it now because, you know what, I'm really tired of it, so I'm going to That sounded get- real convincing, honey, but I know that. Because when you get tired of something, Really tired? It don't matter what you got to do to come up out of it. When you tired, you're going to come out of it. That's right. That's right. If you got to take your kids and move into a shelter, whatever you got to do, when you get really tired in your body, that's why all these parents worrying about the cheering on drugs and all this stuff and crying out. Ain't nothing you can do but wait for them to get tired because when they get tired, they'll come in. You understand? Yes, ma'am. And that kind of tired don't come when you're young, honey. When you're in your teens and 20s, you feel like you're going to live forever. Mm-hmm. You make a bunch of stupid mistakes, and it's all right. You're supposed to, cause you're trying to find your way. But come thirty, yeah. no, that's right. That light. I don't know what it is about thirty, but a light come mm-hmm. on. That's right. And if it don't, check your bulb. Check yep. your bulb. Yeah, yeah. At thirty is the first tenth part of your life where you gl- get a glimpse of some sense. Yes. You understand? Yes, ma'am. That's when things start to make a little more sense to you. Mm-hmm. And come forty. By that time, you stop lying to yourself. Right. You can go out on a blind date, the man walk in the restaurant, you be like, you know what? I can tell this ain't gonna work by the way you walk. I'll see mm-hmm. you around the way. All right, then. That's right. And come 50 and above, you be like, back the hell up. I ain't got time for that food. Wow. Lord have mercy. Wow. Life is something else, and life teaches you lessons every day. And you got to pass them tests in order to go to the next level of your life. So many people fail the test, though, honey. Especially this one little test that so many people fail. One little test to keep you from everything, ever, ever having true love, ever being financially all right. One little test will keep you from having love and family and everything. What's that? Forgiveness. Yes. Forgiveness? Oh, it's deep, honey. You, it's deep. You got to forgive people. Mama, daddy, sister, brother, your ex, your uncle, I don't care what they done did to you, you got to forgive them folks. Not for them, but for you. For me? Yes, you've been raped, beat, hurt, molested. It don't matter what they did, forgive them. Yeah, you, you walking around holding on to all that stuff. They sleeping at night. Yep. 
Oh, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to be mad at you. They ain't going to do nothing but eat, eat at you. That's right. They got people dead in the grave, still got a hold on people walking around this earth because of something they did to them. That's right. That's now, right. that's what's sad. Yes. Let that stuff go. You can't fly with a whole bunch of stuff holding you down. That's right. And listen, listen. You ever heard a woman say, if I could just have that man back, I'd do right this time. Mm -hmm. That's a woman who got the man of her dreams. You understand? Mm -hmm. The man of her dreams that messed it up, thinking about the last one she didn't forgive. Mm -hmm. You understand? How dare you ask a good man to pay for the mistakes of some sorry fool you had before? That's right. You right. I don't know too many of them that's gonna do it. Yeah. Well, okay, okay. I, I understand about the forgiveness thing, but I don't have to forget. Hell yeah, no. You gotta remember. Okay. You ain't go through all that for nothing. Yes. No, you remember that. Okay. So you won't ever let it happen again. That's good. That's real good. You understand? Yes, ma'am. One more thing you gotta do. Okay. Man been hitting on you? Yes. Beat the hell out of him. Oh. She did Be beat him? Beat the hell. The only reason that man is hitting on you because you're sitting there acting like you weak. Oh, stop. All you got to do is lose your mind one time. I mean, you got to go so crazy that it scare you. You listen to me. When you get tired of a man hitting on you, honey, ain't nothing you can do but cook breakfast for him. Cook breakfast. Bring him into the kitchen and get you a big old pot of hot grits. And when it start to boil like lava after he done got good and comfortable, you say, good morning, T. Throw it right on him. Get you a pot like this. Take it in. Throw it. You need your skillet with a nice, good, balanced weight on it. You understand? And as you throw it, you swap. Throw it and swap. You hear me? Throw it, swap. <laughs> oh, Venus and Serena. That's called grit ball. If he the man I'm thinking now, you gotta, you gotta figure out which one he is. But they got two kind of men that hit on women. Uh, 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 one of them went out in the seventies, you don't see him too much no more. He a dangerous species, you don't see him too much no more. Yeah, he, he, he just hit you cause the wind was blowing. That food was crazy. He didn't know what to do. He just walk up and punch you. You don't hit him. I don't hit you him. You do not I hit him. You don't put your hand on him. Yes, ma'am. But nowadays, these little boys, they hit on women, they hit on them because they're scared to hit a man. Mm -hmm. well, how, how can I tell the difference? This is how you tell the difference, and you remember this. Okay. You say, I'm going to call the police. I'm call the police. If he say, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to hit you, you say, I'm going to call the police. If he back down, you know which one you got. Because if he's scared to hit a man, he's scared to go to jail. Uh, okay, okay. You wear him out. Take them earrings off and you go. That's the black woman national anthem. She getting ready to fight when she do that. And okay. you wear them out. Yes, ma'am. But if you say I'm going to call the police and he go dial the number, mm -hmm. run like hell. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Hear me good, honey. I do, I do. Get amongst some witnesses. I don't care what you got on. You can be butt naked get in front of some people. Uh, okay. Scream at the top of your lungs and run. Yes, ma'am. Run like Shug was running in the color purple trying to get to ceiling. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. All right. Now Thank that you, you got me. I appreciate it. That's right. I want to see you do it. You're going to be all right if you take my advice. Okay. But if you dial a number, do not pass go, do not collect $200, just get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. There come a time in your life you can be cool, then there come a time you gotta act a fool to get results. That's all for the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button and share. Also leave a comment if you have a topic you want us to cover. Until next time, take care.